Other people have been sent to jail. Petraeus was, you know, essentially, look, we don't, I don't want to get into it with the poor guy. What he went for nothing compared to what she did, for nothing, for 5% of what she did. And Obama, I mean, she can't go against him because all he does, boom, she gets indicted. That's the end of it. That's the end of it. So when you see Hillary backing up virtually everything he says, and he's got control of her. I mean, it's just total control. But I'll tell you what, she shouldn't be allowed to run. What she did was a criminal act. And remember, this is a six-year, you know, you have a six-year statute of limitations. So she's fighting for her life. If she doesn't go become president, she could have a real problem. Does that make any sense to anybody, huh? Does that make sense to anybody? Because what she did was just wrong, okay? And, you know, she's been involved in corruption her whole life, whether it's Whitewater. I mean, her whole life is corruption. She was a horrible, she was a horrible Secretary of State. She did a horrible job, other than travel a lot. She traveled a lot, nothing ever got done. The whole, the world blew up around her. It blew up. 500 to 600 calls and emails and everything from our ambassador asking for help, and she didn't respond. The truth is she doesn't have the strength or the energy. She responded to her friends. You, you know the friends we're talking about. Some of those friends are, you know, sort of an interesting, sort of an interesting friend going on there. But she responded. Yeah, you get that, right? A lot of people don't get that. Normally, the United States speaks with confidence and clarity about the regimes that hijack international bodies to distract the world from their own wrongdoing. Normally, but not under Barack Obama. President Obama, and I'm afraid Hillary Clinton, have a very different policy. They call it engagement, but it, what it really should be called is abandonment. Instead of standing up to those who single out Israel, the Obama administration takes the path of least resistance. It throws up its hands and says, in essence, not our problem.